and jump. Oh, cute little thing. So manageable in the air. So here we are for yet another unboxing and today we have the WL Toys High Speed Telecar which has a number to it which I think is 144011. It is a 114 scale four wheel drive brushed buggy. Uh, it is claiming a top speed of 65 kilometers an hour. It looks like it's got a lot of really cool features in here. Alloy chassis, alloy shock towers, alloy shocks, LED lights and uh, an interesting radio that has a feature that I've not seen before. So without further ado, Let's get rid of that box and let's bring everything up close to the camera so we can see exactly what this guy has got to offer. So as always, you get the car fully assembled and ready to go. You get your radio over here and a bag of goodies. Now, first thing in my hand here is the USB charger for the 2S battery that is included with the car. We also get a couple of little tools here as well. There's a little cross wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. This screwdriver actually did work perfectly fine in putting the spoiler on the car. And a little bag here which uh, came with all the little bits to put that spoiler on the car. And they also give you a couple of spare body pins and some spare screws in there as well, which is kind of handy. And then last but not least, we have the user manual. This is actually pretty good. It's got all the parts uh, sort of listed on the back here, pictures of all the parts, exploded views, and all sorts of useful information on how to set up the car, what the radio does, all that type of stuff. So uh, very useful indeed. So the radio is an interesting one. It uh, has a very unique shape, unlike some of the other radios I've sort of reviewed on the channel before. Ergonomically, it fits quite good in the hand. It's uh, not too bad at all. The trigger feels a little light. It's a bit close to your fingers, but I guess, you know, you can get used to that. The wheel isn't too bad at all. It's got a nice foam wheel with some, uh, you know, caliper and rotor detailing behind there. And it has this cool little lever here, so you can actually, you know, film with one hand and drive with the other, I suppose. Uh, and then you've got throttle trim, steering trim back here, and there's nothing on top, and uh, a little lanyard down the back here. On and off switch is just there. Loads up with uh, four triple A's from underneath, and uh, that's really it. Now, it does have one cool little trick, which is this little thing here that pops out and allows you to put uh, you know, your phone on here, I suppose. Now, it does tilt up a little bit, so you can actually have it like that, and I guess this might be used for recording. Uh, because it's not a Bluetooth, like there's no sort of telemetry or anything like that that you would use uh, with this particular thing. So it's just an interesting thing that the radio has got. Uh, aside from that, sits up really well um, as it is. It's quite stable, uh, or you can even put it down like that as well. So uh, yeah, I'm, hopefully I don't have any range issues and it works fine. All right, so moving on to the car itself, you can see here just how nice this thing actually looks. It does feel really good in the hand too. It's got a little bit of weight to it, uh, which I like. It doesn't feel too flimsy. There's not a lot of slop on the wheels, both front and rear. They've got an, you know, an acceptable amount of slack. Uh, so hopefully that doesn't change as you use the vehicle. You've got a nice alloy chassis that you can see just there. And uh, overall, it actually, it's finished really nicely. So uh, you can see here, we've got nice thick beefy drive shafts right up front. We've got two LED lights. Uh, just there, sorry, just missed there. There's also some behind the uh, front windscreen here and there's some uh, plugs you can plug in to get them working. Uh, there's also LED lights on the back just there. We've got our wing mount here, which doesn't feel too bad. It's a little flimsy, hopefully that holds up okay. We've got adjustable camber links on the rear. We've got adjustable camber and tow links on the front, which is nice. Um, and uh, you've got CVDs on the front. I believe they're just standard, yeah, they're just standard dog bones on the rear. But look at how beefy these drive shafts are. I mean, I think they're actually thicker. You know, they, they are thicker than the, uh, the camber links. That's crazy. So it uh, looks really, really good. Uh, just a couple of notes as well to take uh, when you're setting this car up and putting your rear spoiler on. Make sure you peel the protective film 
that's on the on the plastic just peel that away before you actually mount the spoiler and same thing with the body the body comes with that uh, you know overspray film on there from factory just peel that off and then you'll get this nice shine that you see on the body right here all right so let's start from the outside and work our way in try and make this nice and quick tires actually feel pretty good they've got some nice foam inserts in there the foam does feel really sort of open uh, if you know there is foam in there it's very very thin but the tires feel really good they have this like really small pin design which i think is going to work really well on the on the gravel where I uh, where I run my cars. You've got um, aluminum hinge pin braces on the front and rear of both front and rear A-arms. So that's a really nice touch. Just a tiny little bumper here as it is normal for buggies to just have tiny little bumpers. And then you've got your alloy shock towers here which look to be about two, maybe a bit over two mil thick. So, um, you know, two and a half mil, something like that maybe. Uh, so they, they hopefully will hold up okay as long as I don't take too many hits, but we'll see. Uh, Lexan body or not Lexan this looks feels like PVC body to be honest you can see that there's a couple of wires here these lead up to um, I don't know if you'll see them on camera but there's a couple of LED strips just on the front here which I think look pretty cool and then of course you hook these uh, these wires up to uh, these ones here and then when you turn the car on everything sort of lights up which is kind of cool so it looks like they're running a 550 size motor in here uh, brushed and for something this small, this should still be a bit of a rocket. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how that works out. Uh, you got a tiny little servo just here. You got adjustable little rod there that you can adjust for the center, uh, which is nice, a little mechanical adjustment. You got all your wiring and everything that runs here uh, to your ESC, which has um, you know all the plugs for your LED lights, which is kind of cool. The battery that you get is, as you can see already, pre-installed in here. It's a 2200 milliamp 2S, uh, which I think is you know, gonna give you plenty of run time. It does run Dean's or T-style connectors, uh, which shouldn't be too much of a problem for a car like this. You have an aluminum drive shaft uh, running through the center there, which is pretty cool. Uh, they didn't give you a plastic one, but then why would they? Because you know, they beefed up all the drive shafts it wouldn't make much sense to have something uh, so flimsy in the center there. So nice that they've done that. Um, and that's pretty much it in a nutshell. Like there's really not a lot to this thing. Um, it just got a couple of really cool features. I really like the suspension on this. It feels really nice and plush. I think the suspension is gonna work really well on this little guy and I, I can't wait to take it, take it out for a rip. S speaking of which, let's go and take this thing for a drive and just see how it performs. WL Toys, little buggy, doing its thing, stock battery, first time out, got the LEDs happening on there, very interesting thing about the LEDs, so the window LEDs, they stay on, but as soon as you throttle, they blink, but the rear LEDs, and if you'll see that on camera when you turn they blink so like an indicator it's pretty cool i guess tell you what i don't know about 65 k's an hour but uh let's get around pretty well unless this is one of those cars that can take 3s and you just have to supply your own 3s battery but there's no way that's doing 65. That's probably doing... If I was to take a punt, I would say maybe 40, 45. You what though, it handles pretty well. Look at your little car on this terrain. Not bad at all. Keeps around all right, good for dirt. Look at that. Picking up rooster tails, plenty of power there. Good fun. Let's see how it jumps. Let's see how it handles the gravel here and the jumps. Almost cleared it. I reckon if I have a big enough run up, I'll clear that. Let's have a look. Not bad at all. It lands really nice. jump beautiful 
thing. A cute little thing. Gets around real well. Flies in my eyes. Annoying me. This handles surprisingly well. And it's got, I think, enough speed to have some fun with. Definitely likes to fly tail heavy. Let's see if I get a nice big run up here. Yeah, definitely flies nose up. You have to hit the brakes. Otherwise, um, he wants to land tail first. That was actually an, oh, really nice. Man, this thing handles really well. I do wonder how they, they're claiming 65 k's an hour. This must take 3S, and I've been ill prepared for it because I don't have a 3S battery. Not, not today, anyway. Wow. I'm really liking this. This thing rips just for the stock battery. Oh. Suspension's pretty good. It's a little bouncy because it's so light, but so manageable in the air. I am impressed. For such a cheap little car, this is pretty good. Very, very cool. All right, back to the bench. Okay, DWL Toys Telecar. This is not a bad buggy, considering that it's got a really weird name and uh, you know it's only brushed. Now, I will say that at the moment on Banggood's website, it's around about $165, give or take, uh, plus uh, I think a couple of bucks for shipping and then of course your taxes. So you're gonna be looking at around about 185, 190, somewhere in that ballpark figure, depending on the value of the dollar. And I gotta say, for that sort of money, for something like this, you'd sort of expect a little bit, uh, a little bit more speed out of it, maybe even to be brushless. But this does have a lot of bling, right? You've got alloy uh, shock towers, you've got alloy shocks, you've got really beefy drive shafts, uh, you've got the LED lights as well. So it, and of course, it does come with a 2S battery. So there is a little bit of value here, uh, but I was kind of expecting this to uh, do the speed as claimed on the box with the included battery. Unfortunately, you have to run a three cell battery, uh, which of course you need to buy separately. You need to also get a charger for that battery because the charger that this comes with is only for 2S. So there's a few additional costs for you to actually get to that claimed speed. With all that being said, it does make a pretty good project car. It does have a good foundation here for you to uh, maybe convert this to brushless later on down the line. Uh, because of course you've got the beefy drive shafts, the alloy shocks, shock towers, the alloy chassis. Uh, there's a lot of sort of upgrades per se on this uh, buggy uh, that would make it a, a bit of a project car or something that someone could grow along with the hobby and, uh, and make something a little bit more of it. Um, the suspension on this I think it's probably a little bit stiff for this car. I think uh, some slightly softer springs, maybe even some thinner shock oil would have made ha this handle a little bit nicer. It was good for jumping and it performed okay on the tarmac. But as you would have seen as I was driving around on the gravel, this was bobbing around a little bit and I was really struggling for traction. Uh, and then of course on the tarmac, it was quite settled because of the stiffer suspension. But then, but then the tires were sort of uh, letting it down because these are off-road tires. Aside from that, um, you know, generally, performance-wise, it wasn't terrible. Right? I've driven worse, I will admit, and uh, this actually did pretty well. The radio, as weird and funky as it does look, uh, it actually did everything as advertised. I didn't have any range issues. I didn't have or notice any delays. 
Uh, the steering was fine, the throttle was fine. And uh, you know, I, like I said, I didn't have any range or anything like that, at least in the area that I was running. So overall, it's a pass. You know, um, I think uh, for this sort of price point, you know, pushing almost 200 bucks, you'd expect maybe a little bit more speed out of it with the included battery, um, or uh, maybe even just have a, a mild brushless system in here, I think would have been a, a better choice rather than the brush system. But uh, in any case, feel free to check out the video description. I'll have a link in there to Banggood's website where you can uh, check one of these guys out and even purchase one if you want to. Uh, also, a big shout out to Banggood as well for sending this out for review. I do appreciate them supporting the channel. Uh, and of course, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll be speaking to you all next time.